In today's lecture, let's solve a problem in delay section. As usual, let's start the session with the outcomes. In today's session, we have only one outcome. Let's see what's that. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to calculate the propagation time. Propagation time is also called as propagation delay. If you are not sure with what is propagation delay, I request you to watch my previous lecture titled Delay or Latency. In that lecture, I have explained propagation delay, transmission delay, queuing delay and processing delay. Let's dive into the question now. Here is the question. What is the propagation time if the distance between the two points is 12,000 kilometers? Assume the propagation speed to be 2.4 into 10 power 8 meters per second in cable. Let's see the given data. The distance is given that is 12,000 kilometers. Next given data is propagation speed which is 2.4 into 10 power 8 meters per second. And what we are intended to find? We are intended to find the propagation time which is also called as the propagation delay. Let's solve this problem now. We know the propagation time or propagation delay is equal to distance upon propagation speed. In other words, distance divided by the propagation speed. Let's use the given data. So distance is given which is 12,000 into 1000 because I am converting this 12,000 kilometers into meters and the denominator is already in meters per second and the final result will be in seconds because the numerator is in meter and the denominator is in meters per second and the result will be in seconds. 2.4, 5000 times we will get 12,000. So this is 5000 into 1000 divided by 10 per 8 seconds. We will convert the answer in milliseconds. In the question, it is not mentioned to represent the answer in milliseconds or microseconds or nanoseconds. We can represent the answer simply in seconds. In this example, let the final answer be in milliseconds because most of the time delays will be represented either in milliseconds or microseconds. So in order to convert this seconds into milliseconds, just I am using a simple notation. The entire value is multiplied with 10 power minus 3 by 10 power minus 3 seconds. Because 10 power minus 3 divided by 10 power minus 3 is 1. So we will get the same value. In case if we want the result in microseconds, we will use 10 power minus 6 divided by 10 power minus 6. If we want the result in nanoseconds, we will use 10 power minus 9 divided by 10 power minus 9 seconds. Let's focus this part. 10 power minus 3 second is equal to millisecond. So I am just making it millisecond. So 5000 into 1000 divided by 10 power 8 into 1 by 10 power minus 3 milliseconds. I am taking this 10 power minus 3 to the numerator part. So it becomes 10 power plus 3. And then we have 10 power 8 in the denominator. Let's try to make 10 power 8 in the numerator so that 10 power 8 and 10 power 8 gets cancelled here. I am rewriting 5000 as 50 into 100 so that this entire part becomes 10 power 8. So 10 power 8, 10 power 8 gets cancelled and we get 50 millisecond. And we got the answer. The propagation delay or the propagation time here is 50 millisecond. And that's it guys. I hope now you know how to calculate the propagation time. In order to solve any analytical problems or gate examination problems, we need to know how to convert seconds into milliseconds or microseconds or nanoseconds. I hope this lecture had demystified how to convert seconds into milliseconds. Thank you guys.